Hello everyone, welcome to Job Skills Share. In this video, after our basic tutorial of Ubuntu, we are going to go a little bit more deeper into Ubuntu. So in this video, it's going to be also basic, but a little bit specific to something what we want to do and learn in this video is how to install software on Ubuntu. Graphical. So remember, we're still not going to the terminal to install anything. We're just doing everything graphical. The scenario will be a user call you and they like a software and they want to know how to install it on their machine. Let's say this is an open environment and you want to show them how to do it. You will just do the same process that we're going to do right now. So let's say we are going to install a virtual box on this machine. This is a software for virtualization and it's an example. So you can put any software and install it but you need to know that do they support Linux and I know they do support Linux. So you will go to Google and let's say we want to install VirtualBox. So tap Virtual and VirtualBox and we are going to go ahead and open the site. So you can read about the site. I am just going to click on download and it picks even picks up like which one which is your system right here? It's Blue Link right here, VirtualBox for Linux. We are going to click on that. Then you will find out that okay, so what distribution you're uh, you're using right now? I'm using 14.10, which is right here. This is what I need for this machine. So on the bottom, I haven't tried this, but it says all distribution. You can try that, uh, but you you do have to look what specific version you're using for best results. And this is going to be the same case for any um, other applications. So we will click on AMD 64 bit and we'll say now you could you can install and open this with the software center, but we just want to go ahead and close save it. So we want to see where it's saving. I already saved it here, so I'm gonna cancel that and open it here. actually my bad I deleted that file so let me go back and save it again okay so while it's saving in there we are going to go ahead and uh, wait for the for this to finish up and I'm going to close some tabs here so uh, while this is downloading um, this is just a basic way to install softwares on Linux. Um, they made it uh, very close to Windows. You know how you download software in Windows and you just double click on it and you get a prompt and then you can download things uh, and install things like that. Uh, so Linux in the, in the past it was a little bit harder to do things like this but now they made it almost similar. So you click on the folder again and it will tell you okay so this is where the Linux is installed under downloads. So there's two ways you can just basically go to uh, the file and double click on it and what's going to happen is going to open in the Ubuntu software center and right now it's looking for let me just go ahead and uh, maximize this so what happens is that it, it went through and then it, okay you know what this is a software and do you want do you really want to install this software so I'm gonna go ahead and close this one more time and also minimize this so you guys can see everything clearly double click on this again and see how your software your Ubuntu software center picked it up okay so now you guys can see you have the install option from here you can just click on install and it will start installing that's one way right the other way is to go to software center itself just go to the software center close this and let's go to the software center and then search it in the search box right here now not all the software you will find it in software center because it might not be uh, approved or just like app system you have a application that is not uh, approved by your app it's like you know Mac or uh, Windows or they have their own ways to check apps so 
uh, like like I said it's in there right now so if you can click on the virtual box it tells you the same way and then you can click on install and it will automatically pick the system and install it for you but the way I wanted to do it th that way is because I wanted to make sure it doesn't install something uh, that's not right for the system so I'm gonna go back to exit out from here double click on this again and you just have to wait a little bit there you go and now yeah, this is getting a little bit there you go so we click on install and now we just need to wait and you will see the progress right here this is basically just like uh, windows applications uh, when you install things on a phone or cell phone uh, they have like those way uh, app app stores you go to there and just get any software uh, and of course they're pretty small size and these softwares are pretty big so uh, it's going to take a little time but the main purpose of this video was to show you guys a graphical way of installing uh, things and it's just like in Windows you get a prompt for password you also get a prompt in Linux and you put your password and we'll start installing again so it's basically the same thing these days everything is almost the same it's just the way uh, uh, little different ways of getting to um, uh, where you want to go um, it's it's pretty easy these days for help desk guys to do their job because if you're working as a level one and level two uh, most of the stuff you do with users and users don't really go deep into these computers they really don't use any command lines or terminals unless it's a very uh, a company that is specifically working on some software and they're all IT guys and um, but most of the time that's not the case you will be working with uh, normal users that do normal stuff and these are the kind of calls you will get I need to install software, I need to uh, RDP to my computer I need to do this, that, it's very simple stuff so now it says it's in progress applying changes, this is where you can see the progress and we'll just have to wait for that to finish And once this is done, any software that you install, you could in, you could find it from your search um, section from here. Applications, just like in Windows, you would click on the Start menu, and then you click on Search, and then you can find any software you want to. You can also do that. We'll just do a virtual box, and you can see virtual box just pop right there. So it's see when it's done in there, but I'm still want to I still want to make sure that everything all the changes are done correctly uh, before I go and uh, open it up so I had to pause the video because it was getting a little bit longer so uh, the progress went away and now I can just go to the search and do virtual virtual there you go so I can click on that and let's see if it's going to work now I'm going to close this close this system program problem detected now this is something you don't want do you want to report this problem you say no now that program that we down install directly on this machine uh, by not using the software center that 
is basically this system is not it's not happy with that software now we might have done something probably wrong I guess now that we can do one more thing right here we can just go back to here and let's see what options we get here okay so this is right here we're gonna click on launch again and let's see if we're gonna get the same error again there you go okay so it just need to be closed once and then we open it um, because sometimes what happens is that if you install a software like that like a virtual software or something a little bit that needs a reboot to fix everything you might want to do reboot and at this point I didn't do reboot not a good idea but I just wanted to make sure this thing is working so I closed it reopened it services got up again and now I have virtual box I can use this virtual box uh, to install uh, anything I want to but we're gonna cover later uh, virtual box later on in a, in a more advanced videos but in this video is the main purpose was to how to install the software on Ubuntu and how to uninstall it too you can right click on it and then you will see uninstall option or you can launch it so this is how you do software installation basic basic software installation on Ubuntu and this course this video will be also added to our course on jobskillshare.com matter of fact let me just show you guys where it's gonna go so there's no confusion you're gonna go to jobskillshare.com and then you will log in and once you log in you'll go to the course course catalog search for Linux and then you click on Linux at work go to the course and then you go all the way to the bottom and click on learning pad and this is this is what I'm doing for new users because some users get confused where this video is gonna go this is gonna go all the way under basic tutorial and this is going to go under um, this section uh, Ubuntu training so see you guys in a different video don't wanna make this video too long bye bye and take care